Paris today, but my plans fell through due to Paris putting travel restrictions on the UK and then I believe they've removed them now, but the flights are cancelled, I'm not going to Paris. So I thought I'd try and make the most of my birthday week anyway. So I'm in London for a few days and I've taken myself on a day out today. It's kind of failed. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't understand London. But I'm trying to understand London. And yeah, I'm going for a walk. I've been for a nice coffee and I read my book in a cafe. So the reason I'm in London is because my boyfriend lives here, so it's kind of like a nice cheap holiday, I guess. Although considering the way I've been spending, I don't really think I can appropriately say that it's been a cheap holiday. But I'm going back to Leeds tomorrow. Um, yeah. Welcome to my birthday week vlog. Um, I thought I'd vlog this week because, yes, it's my birthday, but I also did book off every day of this week off work. So I thought it might be nice to see what I do in kind of like a full week rather than just in the evenings. But in saying that, I don't really have many plans. My biggest plan was going to London, which I've just done. I didn't can't film that in vlog format. Well, I filmed it in vlog format. I did some vlogging, but I kind of just thought it was a lot of me eating and drinking and not really talking about anything interesting in particular. So I thought it might be just better to whiz through it in a one montage form, which was hopefully nice to watch. I did buy some nice things in London, so I think I'm gonna show those in my little haul section. Um, so I got a new purse. My old one is absolutely shattered. Wait, I'll get my old one. This is my old one. I've had it for about seven years. And to be fair, considering I've had it for seven years and considering it was about four pounds, I do think she's done pretty well. She's not collapsed or anything. She's not fallen apart. I didn't even think she was leather, but she looks pretty good. However, this one, just a nice bright colored leather purse. It's a lot smaller, which is kind of what my main concern was with my old purse. It was just so big, and obviously it's not, not the nicest purse, not the nicest colour either, but the size of it was just really annoying, so love this. Um, I went to the British Museum this morning before my train, and I got this book. I rarely read non-fiction. It's called A Little History of Religion. I rarely read non-fiction start to finish, so I try not to buy it too much because I get excited about the concept of the book and then I only end up reading like a chapter or two. But I feel like I just saw this book and I just knew I'd like it immediately. I think A Little History, those kinds of books interest me. And then also I just find understanding religion, not so much like religious texts, but like the concept of religion and theology interesting in itself. So I started reading that on the train. It was really interesting actually. So I'm really glad I bought that. Also, it's just a nice book. It's like one of those like plastic covers. I don't know what you call it. It's not hardback, but it's not paperback. It's plastic back. Um, also from the British Museum, I bought these two mounted prints. Do I regret buying them already? Yeah. They're nice, but Oh, that's, that was the wrong way. They're both this way. They are nice, but I don't really know why I spent money on more prints. I used to be obsessed with postcards when I was younger, and I used to buy so many postcards wherever, like, whatever gallery or museum I went to. And that's kind of stopped, but I've just basically done the same thing. I bought two postcards with, like, some cardboard around them. Maybe I'll gift them to somebody. They are nice. We'll see. Um, I also bought these sunglasses. No, they're not sunglasses, they're glasses. No, they're actually not glasses. They're glasses frames with like fake lenses. 
basically I've just been given a prescription for glasses and I've been to some glasses stores but I can't find I haven't found any I hadn't found any frames that I really really liked and these were like a tenner and I saw these and I was like you know what they really do fit my face and I think I can get them relensed I'm not 100% sure but they were only a tenner so I feel like if I can't get them relensed then I'll wear them for like quirky glasses videos and then the last thing I bought was a football scarf I did leave it in London, Charlie's going to be bringing it back tonight, but it's just a red and white football scarf. I might insert a clip here, I might not insert a clip here, but it's a nice scarf. And yeah, that's everything I bought. I think that's a pretty good size haul, considering I wasn't really there that long. I probably shouldn't have bought that much, I can't really afford to be buying things right now, but I did. So plans for the rest of the week are, well tomorrow is my birthday and I enjoy a nice chill birthday so I'm just going to go to the spa, I'm getting my first ever massage which I'm quite excited about and then in the evening we're going for dinner and yeah I don't really want to do anything else. We've got plans on Saturday for like having a little gathering, a birthday party, a booked karaoke booth, that will be with friends and stuff but in terms of my actual birthday I don't like setting up crazy high expectations. To be fair, even for the party, I don't like high expectations, or like crazy party vibes. I find birthdays very stressful, but I've booked a karaoke booth anyway, so. But it'll be nice just to have some time off to relax. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. had such a long line today it's now half 12 and I've basically only just got out of bed and got dressed and slightly tidied my room but not fully I feel like I haven't been able to recover my sleeping pattern since before Christmas which was like a month ago now so I do need to get that sorted before my week off is over so today is the last day of sleepings tomorrow I'm waking up at half eight um yeah, so I don't really have any plans today, which is nice. My birthday was nice. I'm just going to go to the shop, grab some food to make some brunch with, and then have a chill rest of the day. since I last filmed any footage for my vlog. I'm back at work. I don't really, I didn't feel that great about the footage I'd filmed for this vlog. I mean, I think I've spoken about this before, but 
I just don't want to be like filming me eating out and drinking out every night as part of my vlog. That's not what I find interesting to watch or to vlog. And I just kind of got to the point, I think it was like the Wednesday or the Thursday where I was just like, I'm just over vlogging this. I don't want to post this, but I haven't really looked at the footage yet. So hopefully I'm going to try and edit it in a way that's nice. Hopefully not too boring to watch. But yeah, so that's kind of why I stopped midweek with my vlog. And then I kind of wanted to film an outro the week after, but I became very ill. I was so ill, I was bed bound, I had a kidney infection. And yeah, then after I got better from that, I was pure just chilling all week. I know I like filming like chilled out vlogs, but that was a bit too chilled. That was like me in bed on my phone five days in a row. And I'm not complaining, it was a nice relaxing week. I kind of wanted a relaxing week, but I'm back on that grind now. That's my past two weeks. Hopefully it was still enjoyable.